Hello, celebrity megastar and viral sensation. Celebrity Christopher and Angelic Penelope Fountain. Going around the globe and every single nation. Today is February 6th, 2020. And I have a special amazing dedication. First of all, I want to start off by letting everyone know, in case you don't already, our President of the United States has been officially acquitted of the false charges brought on against him by people that are evil, people that have tried to ruin his success like they do to me. So I, in a different way, but similar, I contradicted myself, didn't I? I am similar to what Donald Trump's life has been like. My life has been the same. I'm not lying to you. I'm comparing where I was. I was in the moving business. I paid people to work for me. I was a contractor. I paid them daily. They were out of prison, on parole, on probation. They always wanted more money than the highest amount of money that I could even offer. Okay, some people needed drug money. Others, some of them were satisfied with what I offered because I did not want to waste their time and I did not want to play games wasting my time. I'm in a different state, a different city. I can't fight with people over money, so just do the job. Don't break the furniture, and we will talk about money. If I don't pay you enough, then you talk to me and tell me what you want. And if I can meet that kind of deadline or demand, if it's even possible, I tried my best. Okay? And it was never enough. Okay, I paid people more money than they made all week for one day worth of work, and they still wanted more. Okay? I gave away $17,000 to poor people all over the country because the white man was making it in life because of who I am. But truthfully, I'll tell you what. Okay, it's not about race or anything. All it is is my position in life. Most people can't even think about the things that I'm talking about because all they know is hate. So they're going to blame the white man, okay? I'm the enemy in my own country. If I travel to a different country and I'm hated, well, maybe it's my bad attitude that I'm hated for. But in my own country where I was born and raised, that's unacceptable with me. But okay, it is what it is. We're building that wall. I'll donate my time for free to build the wall, okay? I don't care who likes it. That's number one. Number two, I don't even think that I really ever wanted to talk about this kind of politics or opinion. But I'm not going to lie to you. The only reason why I'm talking about it is because I'm majorly in fact like literally affected by it, okay? I'm majorly affected by it, okay? So I'm suffering very badly out here in a country where the African-American race don't like the white race. Mexicans don't like the white race. We got white people that don't like the white race. We got American Indians. We got, we got everyone in this country where I'm the one that's suffering from xenophobia. Okay, I am the one that's suffering. Xenophobia. Not, believe me when I tell you this, I'm not talking about good people. Okay, so please don't ever take anything wrong. Don't take my words out of context. Okay? I'm talking about the people that just plain out hate Americans. Why they're trying to compete with me. And then they want to talk to me about the American dream. How does that work? You're in this country. I'm in the country. And you're talking to me about the American dream? I'm going to listen to Donald Trump before I listen to a guest. Okay? I don't care who likes this part of the video. 
I'm speaking my mind freely. I have a phone and I have not one call out of anyone that calls me. I'm on the road alone. My dog passed away from a truck wreck, but I'm not going to lie to you. I think there was more involved, but you know what? I'm already going on over three, four, five, six months, and I'm still missing my dog. My mom, I couldn't see because of trucking companies that kept me out on the road. Now I'm never going to see her until I go to heaven myself. Okay? So, I want to talk about how people alienate me. I go into a public place, got 400 bucks in beauty products for men, okay? And these people are grabbing their chair and moving away from me. For what reason? But the minute I'm giving money away, they're going to stand over my back when I'm counting cash like you can never imagine in Mulvane, okay? And they're going to stand over my back like vultures, like piranhas, like leeches, and say, oh, did you win that in the poker room? No, I didn't win it in the poker room. I'm a celebrity. I'm doing monumental things in life. I'm not going to be restricted. I'm not going to be fundamentalized or kept down. I don't believe in slavery. I want to talk money. I want to talk big money, big opportunities, okay? I want to talk about it all because life's too short. If I die tomorrow, I want to eat steak, not ramen noodle soup. I come from the ghetto. I'm white and I'm living in the ghetto. I don't go to the Lord's Diner for free food. I don't get 900 bucks a month in food stamps. Half the time I'm too tired to even eat. But the other day in California when I went into Denny's, I couldn't get two pieces of measly white toast instead of the hash browns with my 19 or $18 steak, 1942 to be exact with the taxes, I believe. Okay, so instead I had to buy two steak dinners. The white man is wrong in California when I'm the only white man there. Whatever happened to the customer customer being right? So no problem, I bought two steak dinners. It came to 40 bucks. I didn't leave a tip. I didn't leave a tip. Why would I? I'm hated. I'm alienated. I, no one calls me. But after the 17th of January, everything is changing. I got beautiful girls in the QT gas station that I'm infatuated with. I got a beautiful exotic girl that walked into my life forcibly. You know, when I say that, she just came into my life by looking the way she does, and it completely alters my life like you could never imagine. Every time I work for companies, okay, this kind of stuff happens to me. I meet a girl, I'm infatuated with her. It's probably because of my first girlfriend, Anastasia, being murdered in Miami. And I always wanted that same good thing all over again. But I tell you what, as I got older, I positioned or molded my life to be the way I am. Most people want to talk about money. Oh, you can give me some money. You can donate me money. What are they doing to get it? What are they doing to better themselves to make sure that they have marketable skills in a technological advancing country? We're competing with not only guests in this country, people competing for the same thing, but now we're competing with automation, robots, auto autonomous trucks. We have to do all of this under the economic pressure of pandemics flying 
and going all over the globe from China, Wuhan, China, to America, Chicago, California, Massachusetts, because we are allowing anyone and everyone to come into this country because they all want the American dream that they want to talk to me about. And meanwhile, our president is not bending over like Barack Obama did, giving aid to Iran, Iran, okay, or any other country out there. I'm not going to get into the politics because I don't have my books. I'm not watching documentaries right now. And only the only way that I feel anyone should talk is if they have the education, the knowledge, and they're constantly in that line of knowledge, daily learning facts, not only opinions. Okay? I'm not in that position right now. If I was in Barnes and Nobles shooting the same video, no problem. I'd read a 50, 100, 200 books, gather information embedded in my brain, then I'd shoot the video. Okay? But our president has fixed this country. I see that gold is going to go up to $2,000 an ounce. Trust me when I tell you that, but before it does, it's going to hit 1741, 1759 an ounce. Okay. And what I also see is that when people have so much gold, okay, in life, they don't want to sell it like me. I don't want to sell it. You don't want to give it to a burglar. So as life goes on in a position like what I'm in right now, Okay, the more poverty you see, the more motivation you get. Now, unfortunately, I have to talk to everyone in this video. I had to block some numbers out of people in my phone book, in my phone, because they were blowing me off and not giving me the fucking respect that I deserve to begin with. So they're no different than anyone else that's grabbing a chair and pulling away from me. Which I don't give a fuck. I don't care. You do your fucking obnoxious stunt like you're on the fucking internet talking to anyone. No one's going to mistreat me like that in public. Hell no. And if you do, you're, there's going to be consequences like my president. Nancy Pelosi thought she was going to ruin his reputation. The last trucking company I worked for thought they were going to ruin my DAC report. Unattentive driver. How? How was I an unattentive driver when you were in Wichita, Kansas, and I was in Pine Bluff, Arkansas. But you're going to go ahead and put that on my record when I did not even get a ticket for that accident because the fact that company did not know what they were doing. They did not have the knowledge to have an expert like me on their team. Why? Because they're too busy being penny smart and pound foolish. They want to dick people around about when they can start, okay? It's total bullshit. If you give me a job, give it to me. Offer me. If I fuck up that job, fire me. No problem. I don't mess up jobs. As a matter of fact, I've got to tell you one more thing. A company that I worked for, I went five weeks with no paycheck. You talk to any of these truck drivers out here in the Flying J that are parked, they would not last more than one week. I sleep and I get sick because I don't run the truck like other people. 99% of the trucks in this parking lot have their trucks running. I do that to save my company money so that way no one can tarnish my reputation. You can talk bad about me, but when the proof is in the pudding, the proof is in the pudding. People talk about me. They hate me. I'm not working for them anymore. That's why they're mad. Okay. Other people don't like my luck, my professionalism, my education, my dedication, my ambition, my goals, my achievements, long story short, my possessions. So what do they do? They try to break a celebrity like me. Like I say, you can talk to me about Kobe Bryant. Okay. Even my own family member calls me up asking me if I knew what happened to Kobe Bryant. What about the 19-year-old girls? 19-year-old girl. 
whose vaginal walls got busted out of her body by Kobe Bryant. What about her when he raped her in 2003? Honestly, I am sick and tired of people patronizing, making these fake-ass celebrities out to be a god or a legend or a hero when they don't do a fucking goddamn thing for society. Like I said, this is not a negative video right now, but the real heroes in this country are not the military. They are the police. They are the medical teams, EMS, doctors, nurses, and for me, lawyers. Okay? Because that's who I am today because of my lawyer. I have no shame. When you want to keep on backing me into a corner, the underdog becomes the top dog. The top dog gains momentum. The fame is undeniable. The reputation is impeccable and untarnishable like gold. Okay? You've seen my cash. You've seen my gold. Now get ready. Get ready to bow down because it's not another fake gangster rapper out there that's going to persuade my mind to listen to gangster rap. Okay? It's not going to be some fake-ass celebrity like Charlie Sheen or Oprah Winfrey or Jay-Z or Beyonce. Okay? These people don't want to stand for the national anthem. Go back to Africa. Get the fuck out. Okay? Don't talk about this shit. The white man this, the white man that. Our president is doing things, okay? He just needs more support. So I can't wait to vote for Donald Trump again because it'll be over my dead body if I don't make it to that voting office. It'll be only over my dead body. So you know what? I'm going to say this advanced early enough in my life. If I die, which I'm not going to, before the voting starts, go ahead and let everyone know that I voted for Donald Trump. Thank you very much. <laughs> For watching this spectacular amazing video I gotta tell you what happened to me today it was so monumental and ceremonial I can't wait to have I'm gonna have 10 videos on this topic but they're not gonna be the same they're gonna be all completely different but related I promise I can't wait I'm rewriting history what can I say no one else can compete with me you can't deny me no doubt about it